Yep. Again? Well, we're actually getting married on our seven-year anniversary. Which is Keep it going. Months. I'm so excited. Yeah. Well, we met. Uh, yeah, we met. Take a this. Month after His first pipe. Tamp yeah. it down as you're drawn in. Been together ever since. We do everything together. Oh wait. Yeah. Everything. For the most part. I mean, Your sniper bait. Yeah, how does it feel? Space. Space. Feel like yeah. a badass. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, hi everybody, Vermont Survivalist here, and this is what's in my double bag. But I wanted to show off this. I got the, I had this for a little while now. Um, people that I do reenacting with, uh, Bill and his wife Gail, made this for me, and it's just it's just a housewife. It's just something I would keep inside my haversack. But it's such a good job. I mean, absolutely amazing work. So I just wanted to show that off. I don't know. I like it a lot. So, all right. So I want to show off what's in this double bag. Um, flat out, I only keep my camp goods inside this double bag. Uh, and, and for reasons why. Personal items I put inside my haversack. And everything that I need for camp is inside this. One, it just keeps us smaller. And, and you're able to wear it better, I think, because there's less shit in it. These things are not known for their, you know, it's not an Alice pack. Let's just put it that way. Okay, so first and foremost, up top here, I have my half shelter half. Um, obviously, I would have the whole system. I have both halves plus a triangle. So, but that's just one part, and I would put that right up here. Um, along with my, uh, my great coat, um, which, which is not here. Um, my, so I know some reenactors say, well, your great coat just went here. You know what? It's my choice. If I want to put my great coat and my haversack, oh, so, sorry, my great coat and my half shelter in with these straps, then, then I'm going to do it. You know, there's no right or wrong way to pack this pack. Okay, so why don't we just dig right into it. Again, you know, it's another thing that people just need to realize. When you pack in this thing, it's personal choice. Um, you didn't have a guy running around inspecting you know, every single time you march to make sure you packed everything right. <laughs> For real. Alright, so generally this pouch right here, I would keep empty. Uh, unless I had like some small items and stuff like that I could throw in there. That's not going to make a huge imprint. Um, I have my blanket right here. And then inside here, and as you see, it's like pretty, pretty small right here. Um... And again, there's not much in here because I don't keep hardly any personal items. So these poke sacks here, I got from uh, Bill and Gail again. They're uh, they're awesome. These poke sacks, I carry socks in. I got one, two, I got quite a few pairs of socks in here. I think I got like five, five or six pairs of socks in here. Uh, you know, you get sweaty feet. So, and, uh, this is where I keep my, my lantern here. And I keep this in there because just in case the glass breaks, you know what I mean? It, it won't go all over my pack or in my socks or, you know, I just plays hell on shit. Um, oh. <laughs> Tea and sugar. <laughs> uh, I didn't have any room in my haversack for for my Earl Grey, so I decided to put it in there. But I call this camp material. Um, generally, I would also have my pipe and, uh, and tobacco in there as well. Um,
uh, toothbrush and tooth powder. And a camp shirt. Yes, a shirt. Um, I will have another shirt. I'll have two shirts in here. Uh, the other shirt is I'm hand washing it right now. But I would generally have two shirts in here. So that's pretty much it right there. And I keep, and I'll keep everything. Sorry about that. Got uh, interrupted. So that's it. And I'll pack my socks. I'll keep my socks separate. So that means I'm not digging in this stuff. Um, I change my socks frequently at, at events. So, so there we go. And generally how I would pack this is I have, if I can't get it past the second buckle hole right here, and I try to get it as close as possible, but second buckle hole, then I know it's not going to fit. Um, again, you want to try to keep this as flat as possible. I know of a guy that actually has a cool setup. He actually made a box. Hey. <laughs> badass idea I, I was like wow i was looking at that i'm i'm gonna eventually gonna copy that idea so it, it keeps everything nice and flat um, i don't know who makes this double bag i got this out of a trade so one of my one of my reenacting friends guy in my unit so i will fold this up Again, these bags, um, I know there's the manual way of doing this shit. You know, I, I, I know there's, they give you instructions. But again, and I urge you, show a little bit of personality and pack it your way. Uh, it, it just helps. I think it helps the impression. It shows the individual soldier. You know, if you, especially if you've been out humping um, X amount of miles, you know, not all soldiers thought the same. So just keep that in mind when, when, when you do your impression. Just be yourself. Generally, just think of yourself as an actual soldier and what you would carry. You know, not what everybody else carries, what you would carry. With everybody else, generally, you look at soldiers and they all, and they reenact and they all look the same. And I get it, you know, but add some personality to it, you know what I mean? So, again, um, my great coat would go up top here with the double, with, with the half shelters. And, and I would link them up there. Um, so my gummed blanket. My gum blanket would be on me. I would generally loop it on the on my belt. So yeah. That's my double bag. Um, and as you see. Hold on. As you see. It is fairly flat. I don't know if you can see that. It's fairly flat. I mean, it's, it's, I am keeping just, again, camp items inside this bag. Just stuff that's just going to be easy for me for camp. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So, uh, uh, if you have any questions or if you have any comments, um, put them down below. And there we go. All right. So, this is Vermont Survivalist. Good to go. There you go. Do that again. All right, there we go. Good to go.